Um, my name is Miori, and today I would like to talk about youth. What do you think of when you hear the word youth? To me, youth are masters of relationship building, something that is critical in any social movement. When I say youth are masters, I don't mean that they are great at building relationships, but that they make you work really hard to win their trust. Youth are the ones who taught me my three rules of relationship building. Let me introduce to you the youth I've worked with and how they trained me. Meet Maria. Maria is a 16-year-old girl in Boston who taught me how to listen. She had to see me, the school counselor intern, because otherwise she would get expelled from school. She had a big mouth and kept getting into trouble. Going into a counseling session for the first time in my life, my first instinct was to ask questions and help her solve her problems. But it didn't take me long to find out that she didn't need anyone solving her problems. She needed someone to listen. At first, her communication was very indirect. She started by emailing me poems that she had found online. Then she started sharing poems that she had written. Here's a short clip of Maria reciting one of her poems. An individual, because I'm tired of referring to myself as just a woman because I can be anything I want to be. They make it seem that a man can be a genius and run a business, and I get to be the trophy wife, the perky life of his party. Well, not me. When God put me on this earth, he made damn sure I'm part. By the end of the school year, Maria had gotten up the courage to share her own poem in front of her English class. That was a huge accomplishment for her. She had been hiding behind a facade of quick fights and smart remarks, but now she was sharing with the world in her own words what she was feeling, and the world embraced her. And what had I done? Just listen. Next, meet the third and fourth graders at Capital City Public Charter School in Washington, D.C. Remember when we were all kids, we felt that we were grown up in our own right? We didn't like it when adults treated us like kids or told us that we couldn't do this or we couldn't do that just because we were a kid. This is where I learned my second rule, don't treat anyone like a kid. At Capital City, for example, the kids decide the rules. They gather in small groups, and brainstorm how do they want their friends to treat them. Then, everyone decides together which of the five rules are most important. The rules get written up on a poster board, and every student signs the board. It is amazing how much these students help each other stick to the rules when they are the ones who created them. Last, meet Roger. Roger is a Filipino boy in Japan who was in my class at Tabunka Free School. Tabunka Free School is a school for immigrant youth who cannot attend school because they're over 15 and don't speak Japanese. The combination of those two, being over 15 and not speaking Japanese, make it extremely difficult for youth to attend public school in Japan. Roger is the one who ingrained in me my third rule, focus on the positives. When Roger first joined my class, he was always late, always absent, or he always refused to communicate. I confronted him a couple times and told him I wanted to help. That did not do anything. But then I realized that I was focusing on his problems rather than his strengths. I needed to shift gears and focus on the positives. 
So I asked all his teachers and classmates, what do you like about Roger? I wrote all their answers down on a piece of paper and handed it to Roger. He literally stood there staring at the paper for a full minute. After that, he came to every single class on time and did all his work. This picture shows how much he changed. Whoops. Oh, sorry. Okay, this picture shows how much Roger changed in just a matter of four months. Roger is the boy on the right. The youth really taught me what is important in building relationships. I also witnessed their amazing ability to change. Now, shifting to what I do now at Ashoka, let me first give you a quick introduction of Ashoka. Ashoka is an organization that supports social entrepreneurs around the world, men and women with system-changing solutions to the world's social problems. Ashoka's vision is an everyone a change maker world, a world that responds quickly and effectively to social challenges and where each individual has the freedom, the confidence, and the societal support to address any problem and drive change. So where do youth fit into this picture? We are now launching in Japan a movement called Ashoka's Youth Venture, which is a movement where the youth are the masters of changing the world. The adults take a step back and let the youth take initiative. We listen to them. We treat them as equally powerful beings and we focus on their positives. I would like to end with a quote from Bill Drayton, the founder of Ashoka. Oop, sorry. Ashoka realized its ultimate purpose and everyone a change maker world is an unreachable fantasy unless the youth years become years of practicing being powerful. The youth are as powerful as they are because they are so key to unlocking this historical transition. And do I believe in this? I surely do. Thank you.